It's the home of the 76ers here in Philadelphia as 2K Sports brings you today's action live from the Wells Fargo Center. The 76ers open for a happy ending to close out their homestand before hitting the road. They're still alive in the playoff hunt, just two games out of the final seed. Well, this is the last matchup between these two teams all season long, and uh, this club holds a 2-1 to one advantage in the season series. They'd like to make it 3-1 to one here today. But you know what? These um, season series are kind of a season within a season, and players and teams take them pretty seriously. Uh, they're in position. All they have to do is take care of business here tonight, and they'll get the season series win. So the Nets starting five. Jaron Williams and Joe Johnson at the one and two. Brooke Lopez is out there with Mirza Toledovich, and it's Anderson in at the small forward. Here's Philadelphia. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. Yeah, and offensively, everything seemed to come together for them beautifully. It seemed like everything they tried worked. And with a multifaceted approach like the one they had, it takes a sophisticated defense to stop it, which was not the case that day. Embiid with the steal. Jackson with it. Williams picks him up. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Carter Williams, the pass to Covington. Five on the clock. Shot is off. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. And I think the sort of issues they had on defense, in part at least, was a bigger factor. Really compounded, I think, because it was on the road. You, you have to be sharper when you go out and play as a visitor. Yeah, everything has to be tight. You can't be loose in any aspect of your game. You're fighting against the crowd and the opponent. You've got to be tougher mentally and physically if you're going to win on the road. The 76ers shooting their first free throw of the night here. One shot. That's good from Jackson. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old school, traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball. And quite honestly, guys, we're seeing more and more teams embrace the uh, analytics side of things. Williams gets the bucket. Boy, Lopez hunkered down and anchored in on that pick. The 76ers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Covington dishes to Jackson. Williams against Carter Williams. Here's Jackson. Blocked. They recover it. And that one's good. No out. So it's Brooklyn now. And for the Sixers, their new stat-driven decision-making permeates the organization from ownership, Steve, to the front office, all the way down to the coaching staff. Well, that's where the league seems to be going, Kevin. The teams are trying to think further ahead and see opportunities for strategic advantages. But, look, it's still a balance. You've got to have chemistry and coaching. And those numbers will come in play. But they can't be the be-all, end-all. Now, Carter Williams after the miss three from Darren Williams. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. Here's Covington. A three-pointer off the mark. Brooklyn's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. That's a floater go. Anderson's shot is off. The 76ers have gone 2 or 6 from the field. Here's Jackson. Rejected by Lopez. And they'll keep possession. Tries again. And Jackson finishes inside. Jackson's got five points so far. It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A-game rolling here tonight, we'll see. Williams kicks to Anderson. They set the pick. He feeds it to Johnson. That's tipped. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And now let's see which rookies have been leading the freshman class in steals since the All-Star break. Fifth on the list, Nerlens Noel. You know, he's been figuring out the league. You can see by his steal rate in the second half of the season. He's just taken what he learned in the first half and really run with it. Yeah, it's obvious and has really been fun to watch him develop as an NBA defender over the course of his rookie year. Two on the clock. Johnson can't hit. The 76ers lead. 
Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Jackson kicks to Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And it's Noel missing. Rebound is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Now here's Williams, right now averaging 15 points a game. Pass to Toledovich. It's Williams with the drive to stop the drought. Noel with the block. From downtown, Jackson misses. Nets trail by four. Johnson with it. Now defended by Carter Williams. Outside Williams. And B with the steal. Jackson against Anderson. Outside Jackson. Kicks it to Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Six on the shot clock. Here's Covington, and he uses the glass on the way. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now, you got to make a defensive adjustment here, Clark. Time to collapse inside, force the ball back out in the perimeter, make them beat you from long range. So it's Brooklyn now. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Here's Lopez, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Lopez has got his first two points. Sixers head coach Brett Brown used to coach in the Australian League. Also the former head coach of the Australian national team. So a wealth of experience in international basketball. Carter Williams with the bucket. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively. Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Now here's Johnson. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Miami. Did a great job picking the defense apart, too. It wasn't just his scoring. Give him credit for his passing in that game, too. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Jackson. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on Darren Williams. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. They've got to pad their lead any time an opportunity presents itself. And I'll tell you what, that was a golden one there. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the 76ers. Boy, their frenetic defense has really been impressive, putting a lot of pressure on ball handlers, turning them over. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. You know, one of the things the Nets did last year that was pretty impressive, they found value in a number of players who have been overlooked by other teams in the game. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. With the Nets, they did make strong role players out of guys that, that Steve didn't seem to be on anyone's radar. Well, it gave them a lot of flexibility over the summer in terms of what they wanted to do personnel-wise. You, you can never discount how much that can shape the future of a franchise. Now here's Williams. Nine-point game is last outing. Inside. Looking for Anderson. He gets it there. And Lopez gets it to go. Well, he found the open man on the perimeter and got the ball to him. Philadelphia leading by seven. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Well, Nerland's Noel's rookie season, essentially a medical redshirt, recovering from ACL surgery in early 2013. So uh, this will be his true rookie season. And Nerland's Noel projected as a number one draft pick based on his defensive impact as a freshman Clark at Kentucky. But the knee injury dropped him to number six. Yeah, you're drafting that high. General manager's looking for an immediate impact player in the draft. Concerns about that knee and his slight build caused him to slide but if he gets healthy and adds some weight to that frame I think he could be a real presence defensively and Philadelphia making a change here Sims has checked in and the second free throw good the Nets brought in a lot of talent before last season and even though they had the big name stars starting they were actually a very deep team now here's Williams he got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in Williams has got five well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him, and 
on the low block. I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he preferred to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Covington passes to Sims. Turn around, Jay. And yes, sir, that one drops. And the 76ers lead by eight. Guys, as you said, the Nets stars got a lot of the attention, but they would go to the bench often, and Steve, it would pay off for them. Well, they were second in bench minutes played last year and also top five in points off the bench. So, you know, this was a deep roster, and it really came through for them. Here's Carter Williams following the bucket by the Nets. Again, Philadelphia. The shooting percentage is really solid so far, fellas. Good start to this game for him. Williams kicks to Anderson. They set the screen. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Well, the pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. Jackson with it. He had 28 points in the win against Sacramento. You know what was great, too, Kevin, was the way he balanced getting his own shots and making plays for others. And he gets it to go. And that's now seven points for Merlin's Noel. Doing a great job here, able to create some second chance points with their extra effort and hustle. Now here's Johnson, averaging 16 points a game. Williams can't get it to go. Hunter Williams dishes to Jackson. Hunter Williams a screen on Johnson. Jackson passes to Covington. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And Clark, you brought up second chance points earlier. It's probably the biggest reason for the lead here, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, Kevin. Anytime you can get those second chance opportunities, I mean, it gives your offense such an injection. I mean, you run good offense, you miss the shot, boom, you come up with the offensive rebound, and you still get two points. throw drops for Covington. The Sixers are certainly looking to build something special on the court. And to that end, they're planning to build a new 55,000 square foot practice facility close by at the Navy Yard. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Richardson comes in for Noel. And it's Crawford in for Carter Williams. The Nets also changing it up. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Anderson. Borisov comes in for Joe Johnson. And Jared Jack is subbed in for Williams. And right now, the Sixers practice about 11 miles away at a local college. That new practice facility, Steve, expect to open next summer less than two miles away. Well, both from a competition standpoint and kind of player relations, I mean, it makes sense. Players want the best. And you get a top-of-the-line facility, it makes it much easier to recruit in free agency. No good from Jack. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for it. Jackson, that's good. Ooh, their offense has really come together immediately, threatening to run away with this game. It's hard to imagine they'll be able to stay as hot as they've been so far, but if they can't, watch out. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Last time they met was in Brooklyn. While shooting as poorly as they did, there was very little chance they were going to win that game, guys. Yeah, there was sort of a snowball effect in the game that I saw. I mean, what started as a cold night for a few guys became contagious and became a cold night for everybody. And Bahamute is checked in for the 76ers. Now here is Jack. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Passes to Bogdanovich. He dishes it to Karasov. From past the arc, a nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The 76ers leading by nine. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke who's across the way on the sideline. I caught up with head coach Brett Brown. He told me that he really wants his team to be aggressive on the defensive end of the floor. He feels that they'll have a chance of creating a lot of easy layups if they pressure their guards and force some turnovers in the open floor. Something no coach wants to see on the other end, guys. 
Thanks, Doris. And given the scoring talent, mindedness, definitely a key here, guys. Any thoughts? Well, I agree, Kevin. Playing sound defense has to be their focus. If they can win the battle at that end of the floor, I think they've got a great chance to win. Well, I agree, because if they don't do that, Steve, what happens at the other end isn't going to matter. It'll be futile. Pass to Toledovic. And Bogdanovich kicks to Toledovic. Outside Jack. Second shot opportunity. Bogdanovich passes to Plumley. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Jackson dishes to Sims. 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Jackson kicks to Crawford. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, just call him Buckets. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. You got to give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. First free throw is good. And as you said with Jamal, a lot of players can't really make that change between being a starter or a sub, but he does it so smoothly in such short time, it really adds a lot of utility to this team. Both free throws, good from Crawford. Well, Crawford described the perfect for Clark when he said, as a sixth man, you have to come in and force yourself into the game. As a starter, the pressure isn't there as much as you can go with the flow. Yeah, players like him can often do one or the other. Come in firing off the bench or let the game come to you, but rarely can they assess what the team needs like Crawford does and adjust on the fly so smoothly. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers, and theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. And that is good. Richardson's got his first two points of the night. You know, it's so difficult, Kevin, to win in this league when you allow second chance points. And that's what's happening right now. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Outside Jack. Here's Bogdanovich. The kick out to Jack. That is good. Yes. Here's Jackson. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And we reach the end of the first quarter. 76ers lead by eight. Live from Philadelphia. You're one. the second quarter beginning in just a moment. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? And the key has been the second chance points. You look at this team, the, the hustle that they play with, uh, very impressive in that fifth quarter. Well, it's showing up on the scoreboard. I mean, you get second chance points like that. It can add to your totals and also demoralize your opponent. Jackson is out there with Crawford. Then there's Richardson, and then there's Henry Sims. And it's Mba Amute in at the four slot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah, in fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's Crawford with the drive. Here is Mba Amute, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Now, here is Jack. The pass to Bogdanovich. Shot off the pick. No what? Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. And a brief look while we had the chance of a few of the hottest big men in the NBA. The leaders among centers and power forwards in field goal percentage during the last month. In the third spot, Mason Plummer. And you look at that list, most of the guys there have that unique combination of power and finesse. A very physical presence with an equally soft touch. 
And that kind of combo blend is what can turn a good offensive big man into a great one, fellas. That's good for Richardson. So both teams changing it up here. and drops them both. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Outside Jack. The dish to Lopez. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first five. Jack, here we go, and here's Johnson outside. They get it back, and Plumley kicks to Bogdanovich. Jack passes to Johnson. They set the pick. Pass to Bogdanovich. Trying to get open is Lopez, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Carter Williams has got four rebounds in this game. On the wing, Jason Richardson. Carter Williams kicks to Richardson. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Outside Jack feeds it to Lopez. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Thompson against Jack. Just five to shoot. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. Shoots from the line. The 76ers again can't hit it. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. The guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. There's the feed to Lopez. Shot to end this cold run, but he recovers it. And Jack, here we go. Again, the miss by Jack. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Now, here's Carter Williams. A 23-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. I thought his rebounding was impressive as well, as he made some big boards, really helped out on the glass, helped his team out big time. Good. So hard to try to play defense with the height mismatch out there that's on the perimeter. They gave up the three-pointer. Timeout called the Nets. You know, he just isn't pleased at all with the looks they've given up defensively inside. So I think this timeout is all about trying to get his group to tighten up defensively. They just don't look very sharp to me on the defensive side. Noel's checked in for the 76ers. Robert Covington comes in for Jason Richardson. Anderson, he's checked in for the Nets. Williams comes in for Jarrett Chapp. Nets trail by 14. And Williams, here we go. And it's off the back rim, no good. It's been a great day for them on the board, Spark. It's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. Now, here's Thompson. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Covington. Shot is no good. Nice D from Williams. Brooklyn's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Lopez up top. He's covered by Noel. Johnson outside. To end the run. So Johnson is also sometimes called ISO choke because of his ability to produce buckets going one-on-one. -on -one. There's nobody better in that situation in terms of creating a shot with ease and never shying away from a big moment. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good.
Both free throws good for Johnson. Philadelphia leading by 12. Carter Williams dishes to Thompson. Back to Carter Williams. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And you talk about Johnson's ability to get his shot off. 6'7", huge frame for a two-guard. And with his ball handling ability, he can really create space for himself. And Johnson's so smooth, Clark. But, but, you know, Joe, his size and strength, sometimes it seems like he could do more to press the issue and draw a foul. Well, you know, I'm not going to be overly critical. This guy is terrific as a one-on-one -on -one isolation player. He used to average over five free throws a game, but that number has declined. But that may be more a function of him maturing in his career and picking the spots to be aggressive and not wanting to draw contact. And he's good on the second. Michael Carter Williams with that rare height of the point guard spot. He's 6'6", long arms. And one thing you love about taller point guards, the ability to really survey the court pass over the top of the defense. The wide open look here for Lopez. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. Here's Carter Williams. Five points in the game. Now Noel. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his third rebound on the night. And for Carter Williams, great quickness at his height. Clark able to defend smaller players and get by them to penetrate on the other side of the floor. And he needs that, Kevin, because his jump shot is still very much a work in progress. It's not broke, but it's wobbling a little bit. He's got to tighten that thing up going forward. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Guys, Kevin Garnett is at the tail end of what has been a Hall of Fame career. Doc Rivers won a title with him in Boston and simply can't say enough. As Coach Doc says, I get very emotional. He's the best teammate, the most unselfish superstar I've ever been around. Every coach should be able to coach KG just once to see what a true team player should be. Kevin, what a compliment. A guy you love to play with and hate to play against, Doris. Thanks. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. At the line for two. That free throw, no good. You know, sports medicine, really a key part to keeping NBA players on the court. It's getting so advanced, as are most things when it comes to performance and performance enhancement. But I read recently that they've discovered a new knee ligament you'd think they'd have it all mapped out by now, but apparently not. They continue to make new discoveries. And the second free throw, good. And you look at the players around the league who have dealt with serious injuries over their careers, and, and then Steve been able to return. Such a great boost to the league. Yeah, no doubt, especially you know, injuries that would be career-ending. Now players can often return to near 100%. You know, you never want to go under the knife, but if it's that or hang them up for good, the choice is easy. Just five to shoot. Johnson. That drops. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, they are having their way in the paint right now. So many looks right at the rim. Defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get the ball in close time after time, Steve. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. Well, it looks like the Nets got a steal, taking Mason Plumley with the 22nd pick in this yeah, you know, he's listed as 6'11", but over seven feet tall in shoes. I don't even know why they measure these guys without their shoes on. You're not playing barefoot. Good You're playing point. the game in your shoe. So that should be what you get measured at. I mean, every time he gets the ball close to the rim, he's looking to throw it down. I mean, I love his athleticism and the fact that uh, he has a don't settle mindset. He's hungry, he's aggressive, and he plays with really nice force for, for a young guy. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Lionel Hollins as he addressed his team. 
He thinks the use of ball screens and pick and rolls is the best formula for success against the defense they're currently looking at. And he let his guys know it. Something else he mentioned is that he's giving them the green light on offense. He wants to see a high volume of shots. Well, Coach, not wasting any time in tweaking the game plan. We'll see if it makes a difference as we approach halftime, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. What a great year for the Plumley brothers. Mason's older brother, Miles, uh, also emerging for the Phoenix Suns starting at center. Both of them seen as long shots to contribute, but they uh, far exceeded expectations. And Mason, growing up in a small town in Indiana, starting to get used to playing in the big city. And they love his size and athleticism off the bench. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Brooklyn. With the aggression they're showing early on, I mean, they're driving it to the hoop with authority and force. And on top of that, they're really starting to knock down that long-range three ball tonight as well. First one falls for them. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. on that one so he goes one for two at the line the Nets on offense they're on an 11 to 3 run Johnson attacking and MB pulls it down well the shot was there for him and he had to take it I don't care if he didn't convert he's got to take that every time Carter Williams the pass to MB Johnson against Thompson he kicks it to Covington the three and that one's good Covington's got eight the defense sagged off and you know he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three Williams kicks the plumber and bead with the steal and here is Carter Williams he's got six Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams dishes to Covington and the shot is good. He's got 10. It's the Nets now. 11-point game. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis. That is game three of this four-game trip. And I'll be anxious to see what ends up happening with that Timberwolves game. That should be a close one. Now here's Lopez. 14 points from him the last game against the Heat in Miami. Four on the clock. Williams, that's a two-pointer. Cans the shot from the wing. Williams has got seven points in the game. Philadelphia leading by nine. Thompson outside. He feeds it to Carter Williams. And Bede sets the pick for Carter Williams. Covington in the... Six to shoot. Carter Williams against Williams. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Nets trail by nine. Williams with the ball, picked up by Thompson. Williams kicks to Lopez. It's tipped. It's stolen by Carter Williams. He dishes it to Noel. Carter Williams with it. He's got six. Six on the shot clock. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's Covington. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Williams dishes to Plumley. Back to Williams. Plumley the pass to Williams. Johnson a wide open look. That drops and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. Of 76ers leading by six. Here's Carter Williams, averaging 16 points a game. Kicks to Covington. Back to Carter Williams. Thompson dishes to Carter Williams. Gets an open look and hits. Carter Williams has got four this quarter. Nets trail by eight. Williams attacking. 
Quick shot there, and it's off target. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's costly. Carter Williams kicks to Noel. Carter Williams sets a screen for Noel. Pass to Thompson. The dish to Carter Williams. Just five on the clock. Releases. Again, Carter Williams missing. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Now, here's Thompson to the wing on the left. 103 left now here in the second, and he gets it to go. Ten points for Michael Carter Williams. And he's shaken off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Lopez inside, and the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Lopez has got 11. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. His teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. And that one's good. And it's nine points for Nerlens Noel. And that's the kind of lead pass we've seen him make over and over again. Lopez, a screen on Carter Williams. He got right to the cup using that screen. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. And there's the pass to Thompson. Back to Carter Williams. Pass to Embiid. To Carter Williams shoots a three. Rebound Brooklyn. Johnson outside. And the shot is good. Now just a 4.76ers lead. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Philadelphia ahead, up by four. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris. Kevin, we have Brooke Lopez with us. What's the attitude you have as a team right now? Oh, it's so exciting. You know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great team of guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball. You know, it's just it's a lot of fun. Brooke, thank you very much. Kevin, over to you. Thanks so much, Doris, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back in there for the start of the third quarter after this break. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Well, the Nets have to do a better job guarding against Jackson. 12 points and two rebounds. Here's Carter Williams. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. Setting the floor for the Nets. Jaron Williams and Joe Johnson at the one and two. Here's Exolotovich out there with Anderson. And it's Lopez in at the center locking down the middle. Nets trail by four. Anderson outside. Here's Williams. Feeds to Johnson. Beyond the arc. Can't hit. And the 76ers go the other way with it. They're led by as many as 14 points. They'll be off to Boston for a meeting with the Celtics after this one. 
That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Now here's Jackson. Here's Covington. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Covington's got the first points of the second half up on the board for the 76ers. Brooklyn's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight and nailed five of them. Well, Joel Embiid, born in Cameroon, the son of a professional handball player, only started playing basketball at the age of 16. He'd been playing soccer and volleyball, but I'll tell you, his development in the game has been rapid. Now Williams, nine points in the game so far. Right around a minute and a half, played here in the third quarter. Off on the layup. Yeah, he's surprised he didn't make that one because he had a pretty clean look at the hoop. And here is Carter Williams. Ten points for him. Passes it to Jackson. Excellent D there from Williams. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother. Ugly start to this second half, guys. They've missed all four of their shot attempts. Now here's Carter Williams. Here's Covington. Jackson with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. And it's blocked by Johnson. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And it's Johnson again missing. That's five shots without a conversion. A very tough start coming out of the half. Covington kicks to Carter Williams. The feed to Jackson. This is to Noel. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. And that's 11 points for Nerlens Noel. Now a timeout goal by Brooklyn. Well, I, I felt like his defense was letting him down out there, guys. So we wanted to get a timeout to talk it over and try to tighten things up here. You know, a part of coaching, a lot of coaching, actually, is making sure that momentum never gets too far away from your team. That's a good timeout. And the 76ers making a change here. Sims has checked in. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Williams kicks to Johnson. To halt the run. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by Johnson. 12 points for Williams. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Carter Williams with it. He's got 10. Covington kicks to Carter Williams. He feeds it to Jackson. Five to shoot. Takes a three. Toledovich grabs the board. Nets trail by eight. He kicks it to Williams. Anderson right side. He dishes it to Toledovich. Back to Anderson, beyond the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Jackson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A slight advantage for them in the rebound category. They've got to continue their work on the glass. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they're on the right side of the ledger, and that is all that matters to them right now with the lead there. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, the Sixers going young, and Coach Brett Brown explained their philosophy, saying, we try to highlight athletes and length. At this stage, we're trying to grow a blue-collar, hard-nosed defensive program. We take those athletes, put them in a defensive system, and get them playing in the open court. That's the flavor of what we're trying to do. Kevin, back to you. Putting those young legs to use, Doris. Thanks. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down now to just nine in the basket from Johnson. The 76ers have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Now here's Carter Williams. 13 points in the game. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Kicks it to Noel. Pulls up. High post. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Anderson outside. Back to Johnson. Jackson against Anderson. Pass to Williams. It's stolen by Carter Williams. The drive by Jackson. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. 14 points for the Cobra. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the 76ers. 
Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Let's see the stat sheet here on Joe Johnson. Well, since the All-Star break, he's been doing some nice work. He's averaging about 14 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. Just solid all-around performances we've been seeing from him. Playing right at the level we expect. Yeah, we've seen him play better, but those are still numbers that are pretty superb by any measure. He's got to contribute. He's got to produce if his team's going to get back in it in this quarter. Jackson in the corner. He's looking for Noel and finds him. And again, it's Philadelphia. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. And Brooklyn has possession after the Sixers pick up two. Lopez with the bucket. Now Jackson. 14 points for him. Timeout call the 76ers. Brooke Lopez, an elite scoring big man. Tremendous size and shooting touch. He might be the best low post scorer in the NBA. Some changes for Philadelphia. And Balamute's checked in for Nerland's Noel. Richardson comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Crawford in for Michael Carter Williams. The Nets also changing it up. Bogdanovich is checked in for Alan Anderson. Karasov comes in for Joe Johnson. And Jared Jack is subbed in for Williams. Now here's Crawford, averaging six points per contest. And for Brooke Lopez, always gifted offensively. That's a given. And where he's improved, I think, is in his defense and rebound. It takes a lot of effort to move that big body around, but he's made that commitment to really get after it, and it shows. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brett Brown said to his team. He made it clear that their offense needed to run through Jackson. Their offense is most effective, Coach said, when he is most involved. And they're looking for total involvement from him for the rest of this game. Those are likely not the last adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. And Lopez, over seven foot tall, 275 pounds, guys. Not especially athletic. And that can leave him, Steve, sometimes vulnerable defending away from the rim. Yeah, that's why a lot of teams try to put him in pick and roll on the perimeter, just to test his agility and try to get by him to get into the paint. Rick Lopez hits them both. Well, Lopez has been great. He has 15 points and a pair of blocks to go along with those. Well, anytime they've needed him, he's come through defensively. He's made a major impact on this game. Now, here's Richardson. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Beyond the arc. Brooklyn with the rebound. Lopez has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Jack passes to Karasov. And Jack kicks to Bogdanovich. The jump hook shot is off. And it's Philadelphia the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Crawford dishes to Jackson. Gets it to fall from the right block. Jackson's got four this quarter. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. And Jack gets to Bogdanovich. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, we like to keep you up to date on the fresh talent in the league, so let's check in on the rookie block leaders. Well, you look at Jackson, second in the NBA, a great defender. And, of course, Joel Embiid. You know, as far as first-year players go, these two are as intimidating a pair of shot blockers as you're going to find. Yeah, they've already shown they belong in this league, clearly even if it's based solely on their defense. If you do something really well and it's only one thing, you can play in this league. Mason Plumley's checked in for Lopez. And so he hits both. 
Well, a perfect half at the free throw line for them. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half, but uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. Now here's Jackson. 16 points for him. And again, it's Philadelphia. And he may be the guy to put this game even farther out of reach. And that's trailed by 11. Outside Jack. Now the pass to Bogdanovich. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Bogdanovich has got 11. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Crawford kicks to Jackson. Back to Crawford. Let's go. And that one's on target from the win. And here is Jack. Right now averaging 11 points a game. It is now to Karasov. And Ba'amute pulls it in. And Ba'amute has got his third rebound on the night. Pass to Toledovic for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. There is no way. No way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? Now here's Crawford. Let's it go from deep. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. That's trail by seven. Feeds it to Toledovic. Here's Crawford, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Plays right there at about 71% from the line this season. Probably somewhere below where he'd like to be. Guys, when you compare against last year, I mean, this season has been a pretty painful drop-off in his free throw numbers. I mean, he's not making the key chances he's getting at the foul line. Williams, he's checked in for Karazov. And he sinks the second. Burnett shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Outside Williams. They set the pick. Blocked. Here's Crawford. He's got five. Fires from 18. No luck. What was the defense? Not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Plumley, the pass to Williams. Free throw line jump shot, and it falls over the rim and in. Williams has got 14. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. Sims dishes to Emba Amuta. This is it to Crawford. Outside Jackson. And there's the feed to Sims. Back to Jackson. Richardson kicks to Crawford. The 76ers with another miss. Well, it's just been one of those kind of games for him. Jack passes to Toledovich. We've got 113 left in the third quarter. Crawford dishes to Jackson. But three. Crawford missing again. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He's, he looks tight. Now here is Jack. Here's Bogdanovich. Jason Richardson pulls it in. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. There's Crawford with the three. That one goes. Come. Crawford's got six here in this quarter. There's 37 seconds left here in the third quarter. Williams kicks to Bogdanovich. They set the pick. In the corner, it's Plumlee. 
Bogdanovich passes to Plumlee. Pocket four. True on the 14-footer. Plumlee's got his first points of the night. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. Crawford kicks to Richardson. Dishes it to Jackson. Plays it up and banks it in. Offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. Outside Williams. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. The third quarter comes to a close. 76ers lead by nine. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Coming up next Tuesday, March 17th, Mark Gasol and the Memphis Grizzlies hit the road to... Here's Jack. They've got Richardson. Jackson is out there with Crawford. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's Embiid in at the five down low. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Embiid with the steal. It's Richardson on the wing, defended by Jack. Richardson dishes to Jackson. Covington passes to Richardson. Crawford outside. Just five on the clock. Back to Richardson. From the arc. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by Richardson. Richardson's got his third assist on the night. Nets trail by 12. Outside Williams to the right side. Lopez kicks to Williams. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Some changes for Philadelphia. Noel's checked in for Richardson, and Michael Carter-Williams subbed in for Jamal Crawford. And the Nets making a change here as well. Anderson's checked in. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. The 76ers leading by 12. Carter-Williams the pass to Jackson. Back to Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Burnett shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Johnson attacking. Rebound by the 76ers. Noel's got nine rebounds now tonight. Covington kicks to Jackson. Down low. And that one's good. Noel. Noel's got the lead up to 14 now for the 76ers. And Brooklyn has possession. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Williams kicks to Lopez. He feeds it to Johnson. Back to Lopez. Shot clock at six. And it's Johnson penetrating. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Jackson with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. And the basket by Jackson. Well, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. Nets trail by 16. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Plumley, and it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Anderson with the block. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Johnson dishes to Anderson. Stolen by Jackson. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Boy, a nice one-man fast break on that one. It sure was a stylish finish to cap it off, too. For Brooklyn, they've gone all three to start the fourth quarter. Williams against Carter Williams. Plumley. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. The 76ers leading by 18. Outside Jackson. He kicks it to Noel. He dishes it to Carter Williams. Here's Jackson. And it's off from three-point range. Nets trail by 18. There's a good screen. Anderson with the ball. Now defended by Embiid. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And 
he knocks down the first one. second so he makes them both well Alan Anderson in this one he has eight points and one rejection in this game too and it was a good one too really one of the highlights I thought of the game defensively and Philadelphia calls time here he's definitely shaking up they're using the timeout to let their trainer take a look at it We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Jackson, he's guarded by Johnson. Covington passes to Jackson. Kicks it to Noel. And B dishes to Carter Williams. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And the three off target. Nets trail by 16. Johnson kicks to Williams. Anderson right side. Jackson against Williams. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got five assists in the game. Philadelphia leading by 14. Carter Williams with it. to Covington from deep. The rebound by the Nets. Williams has got four rebounds in this game. Johnson with it. Now defended by Carter Williams. Johnson, the pass to Williams. The dish to Lopez. The baseline J. Rebound by the 76ers. Jackson kicks to Covington. Now here's Carter Williams. The pass to Jackson. Noel sets a screen for Jackson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Terrific game for Noel. 11 rebounds and also a block shot. One is off. And the Nets making a change here. Jeletovich has checked in. He's off on the second. Nets trail by 14. Johnson with it. Now defended by Carter Williams. Williams dishes to Johnson. Lopez a screen. Johnson attacking. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. They got on this roll a while ago and they just haven't looked bad. The 76ers have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. Out to the wing. Covington kicks to Carter Williams. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. Outside Jackson. Off the mark and the drop continues. The Nets have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Count it and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Toledovich. Now he's really stood out for his club today. Even though they're struggling a little bit, he's doing his part. Now here's Carter Williams. There's the screen. Pass to Covington. Feeds it to Embiid. Jackson drives in, and he gets it to go. Jackson's got 29. 
having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Lopez, a screen on Jackson. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Again, the miss by Johnson. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Carter Williams kicks to Jackson. Oh, good on the triple. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. Williams with the ball, now guarded by Noel. Tries from 16, and he's able to get it back. Anderson passes to Johnson. Knocks down the 10-footer. Now Carter Williams. Jackson setting the pick here for Carter Williams. Here's Embiid. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. And you got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Now here's Williams. Johnson with a screen on Carter Williams. Lopez sets a screen for Williams. And blocked. And here's Jackson. Here's Carter Williams. Jackson drives in. And Lopez with the block. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And a foul on the shot. they will go to the strike for two. It's going to be on New Orleans go up. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half, guys. And when you're behind, I think that's a great strategy. Not only do you get easy points, but the clock stops as well. Lopez hits them both. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like the typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Covington. The feet to Carter Williams to the middle. Got a piece of it. Lopez with the steal. Here's Johnson. Finish off the break. Johnson's got six points in the quarter. We got a ball game now, fellas, no doubt about it. I'm sensing a major momentum swing after the steal and run out. Well, definitely little sequences like that can change the complexion of a game at this stage in a hurry. And wow, suddenly the pressure is on. Here's Carter Williams after Joe Johnson's score. A shot by Carter Williams, nobody around. Off the mark from 16 feet out. And it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. This is to Anderson. Takes a three. The shot will not go. And the 76ers go the other way with it. They led by as many as 18 points. And Carter Williams swings it in. Boy, look at the big ups, Clark. Major bounce there. I mean, he can fly, folks. Really fly. And we're seeing more and more of that, it seems, guys, out of the point guard spot in the NBA these days. Well, Joe Johnson in this one. 19 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Yeah, he's got to take his time behind the arc. And he makes the first.
Johnson hits them both. Guy is a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. Outside Jackson. And he feeds it to Carter Williams. Embiid with it. Lopez is there. Embiid with it. Noel. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, 